ठीक ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी ट्रिकी वाई ट्रिकी इक्वेशन डजन चेंज रिमेंबर इन स्कूल वी ओनली हैव टू लर्न द इक्वेशन वॉट स्पेसिफिक प्रॉब्लम इज गोइंग टू कम इन द एग्जाम वी डिड नॉट नो सो द प्रॉब्लम कुड बी जस्ट अ डांस परफॉर्मेंस द प्रॉब्लम कुड बी somebody betraying and cheating me the problem could be someone didn't like my photo on social media tomorrow morning it's a range of problems problem means something that life throws at me as simple as just a performance as simple as approval on social media as simple as someone's behavior a little tougher somebody cheating betraying and the toughest a family member moves forward on their journey in life it's a range but the range is only in the situation but irrespective of whether it was just an insignificant it's not going to change the equation doesn't change the problems change equation is the same and so it's so important to have the right equation because if i don't have the right equation even a simple scene like not getting approval on social media and i'll be like nobody likes me people have stopped liking me people like the other person more than me even something as simple as that can get up very messed up for me only because i got the equation wrong so let's not focus on the problems that are going to come let's focus on getting the equations right so what's the equation am i the creator of my thoughts and feelings yes or no always or sometimes because you're going to record it here on your subconscious i am always so we are underlining the always there the creator of my thoughts feelings words and behavior so if my spouse doesn't behave my way smile the power is still with you let's stop living like a victim a victim says they were not right to me how can i be happy then the victim says this person was not right to me how could i be peaceful then the victim says weather is not nice today morning so obviously i'm depressive then the victim says i lost my job how can i be calm and stable today it's a victim feeling and master says what does the master say the situation is not favorable but i am the creator of my thoughts and emotions and when i remember that i am the creator then the second thing which is very important is i choose what to create do we choose to create hurt or people hurt us have any of you ever been hurt once twice or many times many times acha by the same person or multiple people acha multiple people <laughs> so i believe that they hurt me and then i believe that they can heal me and to heal me they need to change and i'm waiting Have you ever seen yourself sulking at the other person waiting for an apology? Please sorry bolo. <laughs> I know we don't do this but actually we're doing this. We look at them with that face and they're like what happened? They say you don't even remember what happened. So honestly I don't remember what happened. You forgot what happened this morning before you were leaving for work? What happened this morning? nobody loves me they don't even remember what happened this morning do you want to live your life like this please put something in this for me to be happy 
and when they say sorry, even though they've forgotten what happened, they're literally throwing that into your bowl and saying, Khushro. I don't remember what happened, but because you are saying something happened, to must have happened. Change your mood and stop sulking, and so I'm saying sorry. So what is that? What is that? Want to live like this? Do we want to live like this? No. So stop standing in front of people and saying, apologize. Because I believe they hurt me, and I believe when they will apologize, then I will get healed. And the first time they say sorry, we look at them and say, yeah, but I don't think you've still realized. <laughs> Person says, honestly, I'm saying I apologize. No, I don't think so. Because you know what, I'm not healed yet. So say a little more. So keep saying, keep doing something, be nice to me. And then by the time my pain gets healed, then I look at them and say, now you've realized. <laughs> Victim. Victim feeling. Completely dependent on the other person. In a world which says freedom, in a world which believes we are independent, you tell somebody, don't do this, do this, they say, who are you to tell me what I have to do? I am. So don't tell me what I have to do, what I don't have to do, what I have to eat, what I don't have to eat, how I have to live. Don't tell me anything, I'm independent. But say one word and you become the controller of my mind. Dependency. Emotional dependency will never allow us to be happy because then to be happy, everybody else has to perform perfect. And everybody is genuinely making an effort to perform perfect, but their definition of perfect might not match with my definition of perfect. How many of you have experienced that you believed you were perfect, but the other person got hurt? Ever experienced that? You believed you were right, but the other person created hurt. Yes? Which means their hurt is not dependent on our performance. So who hurt me? Who hurt me? Say the name of that wonderful person. Who hurt me? Who hurt me? Say it, say it. Who hurt me? I created the hurt. So the list becomes very small. From all the multiple names, now we have only one name left. Every time, people were behaving in a manner which was not my way. Somebody could say something to you when you're alone, someone could say something in front of hundred people. Somebody can write and post about you on social media, completely their choice. It's only reflecting their personality. Second step to remember, whatever people are speaking to you or about you is a reflection of is a reflection of flowers. Let us all talk about them. Two thousand of us, each one will have a different opinion. The flowers are the same. So my opinion is dependent on? My opinion is dependent on? The opinion I have about the flowers is dependent on? How many of you find them beautiful? Why you're looking at other people's hand? <laughs> that is another cause of not being happy. Checking what everybody is saying and doing because that may be right. How many feel they're beautiful flowers? How many feel they're very beautiful? Why did you change your opinion? <laughs> you could have kept your hand down and said, they're not just beautiful, they're amazing. How many of you feel no use? After some time. How many of you believe waste of money? You're all changing your opinion again and again, see? This is how it is. But you know what? 
whether we raise our hands saying beautiful flowers, whether we raise our hands saying very beautiful flowers, whether we raise hands saying waste of money, just look at the flowers, they remain the same. Are they affected? If a flower can do it, can I do it or not do it? Can I do it or not do it? So just keep this picture here, that all of us had an opinion about the flower. The flower remained what the flower is.